On November 28th, science magazine Nature published a list of people who mattered in the science in the year 2018. Among the 10 scholars was Chinese biologist He Jiankui, who claimed to have created the first ever gene-edited babies. His announcement immediately created an international outbreak of anger and excitement. A Chinese, a Chinese researcher, researcher claims, claims that they've helped they've make the world's first gene-edited babies. Gene babies. But why this news became such a big deal and what really happened? Let's take a look. I feel a strong responsibility. He Jiang Kui is a Chinese biophysics researcher who is an associate professor in the Department of Biology of Southern University of Science and Technology in Shenzhen, China. He entered Rice University in Texas in 2007 and received his PhD in biophysics. After his degree, he worked as a postdoc fellow with Stephen Quake at Stanford University before recruited back to China in 2012 under the Thousand Talent program, where he opened a lab at the Southern University of Science and Technology. In the meanwhile, He Jiankui, or JK as he'd like to be called, opened his own company in China called Direct Genomics developing single molecule sequencing devices based on patents invented by his college professor Stephen Quake. This startup pulled in hundreds of millions of dollars in investments. In February 2018, JK took an unpaid leave from the university and began conducting his own genome editing clinical trial. According to the documents posted on China's clinical trial registry, scientists' work was known and approved by ethical committee. Posted papers show that JK used the popular CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing tool to disable a gene called CCR5, which encodes a protein that allows HIV to enter a cell. They describe a study in which CRISPR is employed to modify human embryos before they are transferred into women's uteruses. Also, the data submitted as part of the trial listing shows that genetic tests have been carried out on fetuses as late as 24 weeks, that is, 6 months old. World scientific community was well aware of ongoing studies. November 25th MIT Technology Review published an article dedicated to the ongoing trial. The next day, Associated Press released a video announcing the results of He Jiankui's experiment and the news became official. The first ever genetically modified humans are brought into this world. So why this news created such a disturbance and an outcry in the scientific community and among the people around the world? All expressed concerns can be roughly divided in two general issues, technical and ethical. Although CRISPR technique is a promising and very cheap method of gene editing, there are many dark spots. This method is not explored and studied well enough to be widely used, especially implementing it with human genome. There is a possibility of DNA damage through so-called off-target effect where CRISPR procedure may cause unintended breaks and mutations in the genome. In the United States, the whole gene editing industry got slowed down significantly after 18-year-old Jesse Gelsinger died in 1999 in a clinical trial for gene therapy. The Gelsinger case was a severe setback for scientists working in the field and gave genetic experiment a bad vibe. The ethical side of genetic experimentation is even more tricky and falls into a gray zone where opinions differ depending on the social, economic and medical condition of every individual. 
Genetic engineering might be used to pick the most useful inventions discovered by evolution and bring them together in tomorrow's children, liberating individuals from crippling effects of hereditary diseases and defects. On the other hand, we are not fully understanding the possible outcome and changes the human gene editing might bring in our global society. In the broader perspective, we are undergoing through a transitional phase which as a civilization we have experienced many times in the past. Many centuries ago, Greek doctors Herophilus and his younger contemporary Erasistratus were accused of performing vivisections of living humans and desecrating bodies even after their death. Equally, not long ago, Renaissance doctors and pharmacists were accused of witchcraft while laying a foundation of modern medicine and developing more clinical and scientific approach to health. Let me know what you think about this issue and how should we approach this subject. For now, stay tuned and thank you for watching.